Hello, I'm gonna try to make a, a guitar lesson today. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to play uh, an arpeggio sequence from uh, from um, what uh, will probably be um, be the be the, the first song uh, on my next guitar album. Uh, if you got your uh, this, your standard sweep arpeggio shapes uh, down pretty good, uh, this. Uh, would probably be quite interesting for you. So, yeah. So what you do, we pick the first note. Pick, and then we let go, and then we use the index finger to mute as best we can these strings, so we can hammer on from nowhere. While the strings are muted, while we do that, we move up the right hand, so... And then we press down with this part of your index finger. So you fret that note that way. And you still mute yeah, these strings. And then we go back, so just hammer on, hammer on. So then we have this, this pattern. So down, hammer on, hammer on, down, up, down, hammer on. Down, up, down, so... See? The index finger goes nowhere. You, it's in place and you... You, you, you fret note... The note you want to play and you let go when you... That's the tricky part of the technique. It sounds good. It's a, it sounds different from uh, from uh, regular arpeggios because it's a it's a uh, it's a wider uh, voicing, of course. So it's uh, you can do quite a lot of cool cool things with it. But anyways, um, we play this part um, two times, and then we move up to a major shape. It's it's the same. Um, same thing except it's major. And and it's uh, sorry, it's it's a, a, a bit the, the picking pattern is is a, is a little bit different. Each note is only played one time, so uh, we have a and then we go back and play this uh, the first um, the first shape one time. And then we go to um, uh, to a G major shape with with some added notes. I don't know what the chord is exa exactly, but whatever. Um, uh, and uh, there's no uh, no string skipping or weirdness going on going on here. And then we go to C major shape, so, and then just uh, it's yeah, regular sweep picking, and after that we land on this note, so we slide up to the thirteenth fret, and then 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 we'll do some hammer rolls again while muting with the index finger, so slide up. You can do what you want, you can pick each note if you want to. I sometimes I, I, I like to pick these notes. Now we got uh, get a hybrid picking pattern. So after you land here, you pick hybrid pick with your finger. So and pull off. And then uh, then uh, we pick down. And then hybrid pick again, hammer on, pick, and then the exact same uh, picking shape. So, and then we land um, land on the 16th fret here on the G string and then a half step. So. The next part. 
regular sweet picking pattern. C so do an uh, A minor seven, I think, and then you slide up. Do an A minor shape. So then you slide back up, or you slide this down. I mean, sorry. And uh, you play a C major shape, like usual. But when you reach this note, 13th fret on the B string, you slide up. So slide up two frets, and then we do a little hammer on, a legato shape. Complete legato. So slide and. Because now our, our right hand is completely free, and then we can play an uh, uh, E major arpeggio, and then we end with A minor. So and you can do what you want here. I like to play. I like to just pick, pull off, and then these notes are hammer off nowhere. So I hope uh, this was not too confusing. I'm uh, quite all right uh, when it comes to playing guitar, teaching guitar. I have never done. I'm not a teacher. Uh, I just thought this would be a fun thing to try. And yeah, hopefully it's, you learned something. <laughs>